Public attention is centered on issues of trust and confidence in leadership. By not directly addressing the allegations, Tim Walz risks undermining his relationship with a public that values integrity and transparency. Skepticism about his character may grow, particularly among those who hold military service in high regard. This incident could erode public trust, raising doubts about whether Walls is genuinely committed to the values he professes or simply engaging in political maneuvering to protect his image. Governor Walls, the uh, country is just starting to get to know you. I want to ask uh, you a question about how you've described your service in the National Guard. Mm. Uh, you said that you carried weapons in war, but you have never deployed actually in a war zone. A campaign official said that you misspoke. Did you? Well, first of all, I'm incredibly proud. I've done 24 years of wearing the uniform of this country. Equally proud of my service in a public school classroom, whether it's Congress or, uh, or the governor. Uh, my record speaks for itself, but I think uh, people are coming to get to know me. I, I speak like they do. Um, I speak candidly. I wear my emotions on my sleeves. And uh, I speak uh, especially passionately about, uh, about our children being shot in schools and around, around guns. So uh, I think people know me. They know who I am. They know where, uh, where my heart is. And again, my record has been out there for over 40 years. To, to speak for itself. And the, the idea that you said that you were in war, yeah. did you misspeak as the campaign has said? Yeah, I said we were talking about, in this case, this was after a school shooting, the ideas of carrying these weapons of war. And uh, my wife, the English teacher, told my grammar is not always correct. But again, if it's not this, it's an attack on my children for showing love for me, or it's an attack on my dog. Uh, I'm not going to do that. And the one thing I'll never do is I'll never demean another member's service in any way. I never have, uh, and I never will. Waltz's reluctance to address allegations of honor theft may be seen as shirking personal responsibility. His avoidance of directly responding to the controversy reveals a serious flaw in character, as the public highly values honor, especially in the context of military service. His attempts to shift focus, such as bringing up unrelated topics like a school shooting or diverting attention with grammatical debates, could be interpreted as tactics to evade the real issue, further deepening doubts about his integrity. True leadership, in the eyes of the public, demands clear and sincere explanations rather than deflecting accusations with irrelevant distractions.